you're 17, would you be keen to vote if the voting age was lower? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Last week it emerged that nearly 250,000 young New Zealanders are yet to enrol to vote, young being people aged between 18 and 29. We're going to try and find some first time voters and a few people under the voting age as well to find out if they think voting is important and what issues they care about most. Do you think it's important young people vote? Yeah, totally. Can I ask why you think it's important? Oh, because there's not many other ways you can get your opinion out there or make, you know, make a like a decision like with what you believe in and stuff like that so yeah it's one of the ways you can definitely yeah yep, for sure yeah. why do you think it's important that people vote because you can't complain about it if you haven't had your opinion and how else is it going to work i mean if everybody decided not to vote what would we do yeah get your own say and see the changes that you want to see i am 18 years old so are you going to vote in a few weeks i probably will yes what uh, type of issues would you say you cared about um, like in the future of New Zealand, like what do they want to do economically and for the future of like even my children of like what what's it going to be like here? Can I ask, are your family quite political? Um, do, yeah. Do they obviously got, think it's quite, important to vote. Yeah, yeah, we vote. My family votes, so yeah, that's a good thing to do. I reckon. Can I ask how old you? Twenty. So you. Definitely going to vote in a few weeks' time? Yeah. What are the type of issues that uh, you, you care about the most? Um, probably like families um, and like ha the housing and like having families earning enough. Um, yeah. Do you think that's an issue around here? Um, I think so, yeah. Like, because I've only just started working when I was a student, I found it really, really hard um, to get by. Um, so I think that's really important. Um, I also really like, I uh, think it's important like where taxpayers' money is going, like with the ARA here, they're cutting all the courses. So The tertiary... Uh... Yeah, I think that's like really important because some people can't move away to study um, or go to the city because they've got like family commitments or work. Well, since I'm from Ashburton, quite like the rural industry, so think about that sort of thing and what's happening around the rural areas. Um, yeah. What are the type of issues in, of in issues, those rural like, areas? Yeah, water, our yeah, water... Um, Issues at the moment, student loan related issues <laughs> like payback and all that kind of thing. Yeah. Mm, yeah, funding for sort of medical type issues and um, yeah, environment as well. Oh, it used to be nice here, eh? Right? But now, um, I reckon the biggest thing around here for young teenagers is the um, gang influence around Timaru. There's oh, a really? lot of gang influence. Is it bad around here? Yeah. Everybody's got to rip what, whatever. Yeah, it's not good. For me, um, being an outdoor recreator, environmental stuff is quite big. Um, and also um, a lot with my friends and stuff, um, mental mental health issues and like the support around that is also something I'd definitely look at as well. Yeah, we've heard a lot about mental health issues. Uh, can you tell me a little bit more about why you think it's such a big, um, big issue? We need, I think we need a lot more support. Um, I know a lot of people who've tried to go for help and they've been not bad enough or whatever. I can't decide, but I think I'm going to vote for Labour, yeah. Are you a fan of the new leader, Jacinda? Yeah, yeah, I think she's like really empowering. I'm actually from Umaru. I moved up here about six months ago for um, hairdressing. So it's definitely got a lot more job opportunities than Umaru, obviously it's a bit bigger, so I quite like it here. A theme that has come through during our time in the regions is that a lot of people have told us that they feel like there aren't enough jobs and opportunities where they live that the government has left them behind. Earlier this year, a survey done by the local YMCA of 12 to 24 year olds found that more than half believed there were few or no opportunities in their districts. It's interesting, the last woman we spoke to just now said she moved from Omoru to Timuru because there were more jobs and opportunities here. I suppose it's all a matter of perspective. Mm -hmm.